Hey guys, Pie Guy Rules here. Merry Nickmas! Babies in Toyland is the last big Rugrats Christmas special. It's a 40 minute special and I've got a lot to say, so let's get this plot out of the way. So Stu worked on animatronics for this Christmas city town thing that's run by Charlotte's company. The families decide to visit it on Christmas Eve and it's a magical snowy wonderland that's all rigged with electronics. Meanwhile, Grandpa wants to have a more old-fashioned Christmas without all these fancy schmancy doodads. The adults leave the babies alone with Grandpa as they go check out an old-timey time themed house, but they get snowed in when Stu's machine malfunctions. Grandpa, of course, falls asleep, leaving the babies to their own devices. Angelica acts like a brat to the resident Santa Claus, so he up and quits, causing the babies to think that Christmas is cancelled. And Angelica tells them that if Dill doesn't have a Christmas this year, he'll never get to have one. So the babies wander around the Christmas town looking for presents to give Dill so he'll be able to have a Christmas next year. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Angelica's a jerk and eventually learns to be nice. So what I find really interesting about this Christmas special is that it is the exact opposite of the Santa experience, and comparing the two is unavoidable. Think about it, the Santa experience is a very low-key Christmas special. There's no action that goes on, there's not too much of major conflict, it's, for the most part, just families celebrating Christmas, ironically in a very rustic cabin to get away from it all. Whereas in this special, the adults seem to have the absolute opposite mindset, where they want to have this super electronic, super modernized Christmas, although they end up learning that the old-timey Christmas is better, but still, it's really weird to see them wanting this traditional log cabin Christmas one year, and then hating being stuck with it the next year. Granted, I don't know how the Rugrats timeline actually works, because if Tommy's still one here, and yet he was one in the other Christmas, and Dill's not yet a full baby yet because he can't speak, so he's still a newborn, and it's his first Christmas, so we can't be more than a year in advance, and I... Ugh. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and pretend that everyone's aged up a year in this Christmas special, just because it makes things easier on my brain. It's also interesting to compare the two specials because, well, as I said, this comes at the end of the series run, and the other one came right at the beginning. It kind of shows two different philosophies for Rugrats episodes, and I gotta say, I prefer the older style to the newer. There's nothing wrong with this special. It actually has a few good laughs, it's got somewhat of a clever story, there's some funny and odd references to Jesus where the babies don't know who he is. It, it's quite clever in some ways, but at the same time, I just don't think it can hold a candle to the original Christmas special. Maybe it's my bias or my personal preference, but I don't know. There's something about that low-key Christmas that I like a lot more than the obvious let's go on an adventure Christmas where there's robots fighting each other and they get snowed in and of course Stu's mechanisms go haywire. Stu's mechanisms going haywire is just really annoying because it is such a running theme in the show but you wouldn't imagine that Stu would be successful in anything because everything he does goes wrong. It gets a little bit sad to watch after a while. Also, it is incredibly predictable. If you didn't know things were going to go wrong just because Stu invented it, the show goes through painstaking lengths to show you something is about to go wrong. Also, I find it funny that Angelica can bust through a door, yet the adults can't. Maybe it's because they're on the inside and she was on the outside, but still, it makes it seem a bit inconsistent. This episode briefly features one of my least favorite things about Rugrats. Rugrats singing. Granted, it's only Angelica, but that's actually probably worse than if it was all the babies. And I'm not talking about when they're, like, not singing, like in Let It Snow, when it's just baby gibberish. No, I'm talking about when they shriek sing and their voices are all just... Ugh. There's a reason why most of the songs in the Rugrats movie were sung by other people. I also think the episode went on a little bit too long. It held my attention for most of the way through, but towards the end it began to drag. I feel like you could have told this story in 22 minutes. It's also odd that this is like the only Nickelodeon Christmas special that actually exceeds 22 minutes, and I don't really think it needs to. So after watching the two Christmas specials and the one not-so-special episode that was still Christmas-themed, I would have to say my favorite is the Santa experience. I think it's just the best special overall. It gives you the feeling of Christmas without having to try so hard. It's just quiet and nice and different from what you'd expect out of a cartoon. I prefer the low-key Christmas special, but I'm sure some of you prefer this one, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's enough here to like. 
So overall, I'd say this is a very solid Christmas special, but if you're only going to watch one, watch the Santa experience. Pie Guy Rules, out.